dear students and welcome to the NIOS Home Science Practical Number 9 and it is about food groups. If the objectives mentioned in the practical are how to study the menu carefully, number 2, to know the different types of food groups and the foods in, uh, inside these groups, number 3, how to use the food groups to prepare a balanced meal or a balanced diet and the menu which has been given to you to find out whether it is balanced or not. Fourth, if it is not a balanced meal, then what are the other suge possible suggestions that you can give which we can add an extra to a particular meal so that it becomes a balanced meal. Now I will be showing you what the table are and what you have to write in it. So this is the table where you have been given with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns. Each, the first column is to mention the serial numbers. Either it can be the number of dishes, that is 6 dishes, we have mentioned because that's for the given column. Number 2, the menu, what the food is about, the food stuff used in preparing that dish, what is the main ingredient of the dish, to which food group does that main ingredient belong, and what are the possible suggestions or the food items that you can include in that dish to make it much more better and a balanced one. When I turn my page, you have been given with a menu already here. That is Rajma, Zira Rice, Dry Alu or Kheer. So, we will use them to write here. As you know, one example my student has already done here and that is foodstuffs used for rajma the main ingredient is the rajma the foodstuff used are tomato oil garlic coriander onion run rajma itself the rajma belongs is since it is the main ingredient it is belonging to the pulses and legumes food groups and the suggested food items to make it tastier could be to add soya nuggets into it. Similarly, the second dish is zira rice. The main ingredients are rice and zira. So, to which food group does the rice and the zira belong to? Cereals and grains group. And the material that the items or the ingredients required to prepare are mentioned here. Zira, onion, rice, salt, allspice, oil or ghee. And suggestion to add some vegetables such as bell pepper, tomato, potato or carrot so that it becomes much more tasty like a pulao. Similarly, you can do for the dry alu and khir. Let me tell you about the khir. You would need water, rice, milk product, milk powder or liquid or condensed milk, cardamom, almonds, pistachio or walnuts. The main ingredients are rice and the beautiful nuts that you will be using to make it tastier. Food groups, they are from cereals, fruits, milk product and sugar. This is the one dish which involves four different types of food groups. And the suggested food items are sago. You can also add sago instead of rice or mix them together because sago is a very cooling agent for the stomach. These are the day you are going to fill up your table over here on page number 18 so that you can get your full marks for the practical manual and you know how to know about the food groups how to balance and how to unbalance by adding these type of things you can make it more balanced and the ingredients will make the food dish balanced meal now let us come to the related questions which will be possibly asked to you during your examination so dear students as we have to discuss the related questions regarding the practical and they are name the various food groups. The first food group is cereal and grains which includes rice, wheat, barley etc. Pulses and legumes commonly known as lentils or even dals that you use in the home. Third one milk, meat and egg products. You know milk, normal milk and okay. Meat products such as fish, meat or chicken, egg products, you know obviously. Fruits and vegetables, any type of fruit and vegetables, they are the fourth group. And fifth one, fats and sugars. Fats can include butter, oil 
and sugar such as sweets, candy, ice cream, chocolates, whatever you people eat. These are the five food groups. Question number two, what is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is when all the five food groups or the seven nutrients, they are carbohydrates, protein, water, vitamins, minerals, fibers and fats. When these are included, either the five groups or the seven nutrients is included in a meal, that is called as a balanced diet. Whatever meal you are eating for your lunch, dinner or breakfast, the, mati, the important ingredients or the nutrients are from all the five food groups that will be called as a balanced diet. What is the importance of a balanced diet? To have a balanced diet gives an equal amount of nutrients in your diet. And so you will not lack or have any deficiency of any nutrient. You will be having a healthy body with the healthy systems working and functioning at all times. What will happen if a carbohydrate rich diet is taken every day? In this case we have two points to be mentioned. We have a carbohydrate related disease divided into two parts. They are carbohydrate excessive intake or PEM which is known as protein energy malnutrition since the word protein is coming here it is also related to carbohydrate you will know why when I say protein, energy, malnutrition, it is when the lack of protein is less, protein is deficient and intake of carbohydrate is more. This can cause a disease called as Kabioshka. And this is when the, the person is very thin but has a round belly. Person is very thin no muscles, no meat, no flesh, you can see a bony skin all around. The face is too much compressed but the only part that is the stomach will be round and bulging out like a belly. That is called as Kashioka. Carbohydrate excessive intake can also lead when everything is normal but just because of normal excessive intake of carbohydrate can lead to obesity. And obesity is when each and every part of the body is high due to number, lots of lots of calorie intakes. And that is because of eating lots of rice and which because nowadays people are eating more rice. And you know rice contains carbohydrate and mostly which type of carbohydrate? Starch. So these are the two possible things that can happen. Either it is going to be a protein energy malnutrition that causes cashioca or obesity. Obesity is the highest. Fifth one. Why does a mother force her child to drink milk? A mother forces the child to drink milk because milk is something that contains so many different types of nutrients. It contains protein, many important ingredients such as calcium, the mineral. And calcium is used to give your strong bones and teeth. And not only young children, every adult should also have a glass of milk every day before sleeping. It contains protein, calcium and other different types of minerals such as phosphorus. Which are very important for the perfect functioning of the body and especially your bones and teeth. So that later at an age the bones doesn't become brittle. These are the five possible questions that will be asked to you during your examinations. Any other questions you people would like to ask? Please let me know in the comment box below. Thanks for watching the video.